Sometimes you will have a customer who is also a supplier and when that customer pays you, they might deduct what you owe them before they make that payment. How did we deal with that in Xero? Well, what we call this is a contra entry. There's no exact way to deal with it in Xero, but I'm going to show you how I recommend doing it. Offsetting a supplier amount against a customer amount is called a contra entry and that's what we're going to take a look at in Xero. Okay, we're going to take a look at Grass Guzzlers and we can see that as a customer, he's owe us £570. If we go to Aged Payables, we will see that as a supplier, we are owe them 114 so what Grass Guzzlers have done is said they will pay us, but instead of paying 570, they will deduct the 114 and they will pay us 456 pounds. So we need to do a contra entry for the 114 pounds that they're gonna deduct before they make our payment. Now what we'll want to do first of all is we we'll wanna to go to our chart of accounts because for this, we're gonna use our suspense account. You should already have a suspense account set up in Xero. And what we want you to do is just to check that when you go to your suspense account that this box is ticked and able payments to this account. If you need to tick it, go ahead and do so and then click save. And we're just going to use the search and we're going to find grass guzzlers. And we're going to select the bill. And we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to say that the contra entry is £114. Now we didn't receive any cash for that, so we'd need to choose that it was paid from the suspense account. For reference, I'm just going to key in contra and add payment. So that bill has now been cleared in zero. I'm going to go back and search for grass guzzlers again and this time we're going to pick up the sales invoice. We're going to do the same thing but we need to make sure that the amount we enter is the contra amount and again we're going to say it was paid via the suspense account. We'll enter contra again and we'll add that payment. Now what happens when we receive that payment, there it is coming into our bank account and Zero has automatically matched it to the balance remaining in the invoice and all we need to do is select OK. And that's it. Job done. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.